Alright, this is a weekly reading for Aquarius. And your two songs are by Eddie Brickle and the new um, Bohema Bohemians. What I Am and the other song is Kane Brown Used to Love You Sober. So, yeah. <laughs> fun songs. As you know, you feel like the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, a resolution of feelings. Um, a false heart. Um, joy um, tempered with tragedy and consistency. So maybe you're just kind of... You've been jaded before in a relationship or the feelings towards, you know, certain things. So you're just kind of trying to find your grounding again. Then we have the week's theme, which is strength. Strength is control of a situation, bravery, unwavering attention to a quest. Um, ability to overcome temptation, physical strength, mind over matter, matter over mind, a Herculean task for a personal end or for a the sake of the world at large. Um, six, six of Pentacles is the challenge of the week. So, um, generosity to those less fortunate, kindness and gifts from the heart, well-being that comes from kindness and giving. So, there's a lot of stuff going on. Like, maybe, um, you used to be charitable and now you're kind of like, well, there's a lot of people that need help, so I'm kind of, you know, damned if I do, damned if I don't. And, um, you don't want to feel like you're constantly, you know, in that emotion, or, like, you don't want to be committed to anything, like, 100% anymore. You're kind of just taking life as it comes, which is fine. So, lesson to remember is going to be the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is anxiety over a loved one, worry and concern, a quarrel or other major unhappiness, miscarriage, despair, and suffering. Sometimes death or um, disillusion. So there's something that happened. Maybe somebody passed, which I'm sorry if that happened. But, um, there's something that happened all of a sudden that shook your faith, um, in the world. So, you're kind of not 100% on anything. You're not 100% keen on this. You're not 100% keen on that. You're just 100% yourself, kind of beside yourself with what you should do. Um, so you don't know. A lesson that you will learn this week is going to be the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords in reverse is the same as upright meaning, but less defiant. Um, so, strong possibility of redemption. So, deception. But it's not as defined. There could be some type of little tiff or conflict that goes on, but it's not, like, crazy, like, oh, it's gonna be, like, a life-changing if I keep fighting and they leave or something. It's, like, gonna be a small fight that's just gonna be, like, you need to do the dishes and don't be keeping your glasses in the same type of tiff. It's not gonna be too bad. And then the gift of the week is gonna be the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is fearing the consequences of a new project, worry and embarrassment, looking into the infinite. So you're, you kind of want to know the results of a project that you haven't finished yet. That's wackadoo, all right? Um, if it doesn't exist, there is no... 100%, hey, it's gonna do great, hey, it's gonna oh, do bad. If it doesn't exist, there is no results for it. 
it's kind of like Google. <laughs> if the universe hasn't seen it, there is no results for it. Alright, and I can't stress that enough. So, it's like that with everything. If the relationship doesn't exist, it has no results. If the project doesn't exist, there's no results. The universe sees it as, I don't know what you're talking about. And like, you have to put it out there and you have to take what happens with a grain of salt. Sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose, but it's a 50-50 chance. Sometimes it is your day and sometimes it's not. So you kind of have to time this right. You have to make sure there's no other distractions in the world or the media. And that everybody's kind of on a constant level with you. Um, you have to bring hype. You have to kind of work the crowd, say, hey, I have a new project coming out. I want people to get hype about it so that I feel encouraged to do this because I've kind of had trouble in the past um, getting my work out there. Um, so, like, it becomes a hot topic, you know. Anyway, Aquarius, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. <laughs> I read everything. And thank you for watching. I know it's going to be hard, but you have to make it exist in order for there to be results. Um, usually when there is some type of thing, like right before you're about to give it to the public or you're about to put it out there, there's results for that. There's actually the um, premonition of it being good or bad. So, <laughs> And you'll feel it. I mean, the universe doesn't really keep that a secret. <laughs> if you feel good about it or you feel a little nervous, um, usually I think nervous is like overwhelmingly good. And if you feel like, oh, this is not going to work, you feel too confident, like you can't trust it, like it might be a flop. So that's how you can gauge the universe. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> Alright, bye now.